Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how I download all my pictures for my picture videos. I have three ways to show you and for all three of them I actually use an extension for Firefox and uh, you can only use this extension with uh, Firefox. We are going to download and add this um, extension to Firefox first. So type in save images add-on, click on this link right here then click on add to firefox install now and then restart your browser all right so first of all we are going to need to uh, change some of the options so right click save images and options okay so first of all i'm going to click on enable limits because i don't want to um, the extension to download headers or ads or banners on different websites so I check the dimensions and then type in 200 and 200. You are going to need to select the folder that you want your pictures to be saved into. And I made a folder already for this called downloaded images. And then click on close tab after saving. But um, as of now, this extension doesn't close the tabs after saving the images for some reason. And in the past it always works so i hope that uh, they are going to fix this problem then go to general and check the first one and then go to this frame height when multiply links are opened in one tab and change it to 100. go to your keyboard shortcuts and uh, i think most of the time you are going to use the save images from current tab option so click on it and then go right here to the key and then now you are going to need to figure out a shortcut that will be good for you. For me, Ctrl plus Shift plus A, which is a Hungarian letter, so you might not actually have this. So this shortcut has worked for me all the time because it's quite tricky to come up with a new shortcut that hasn't got something applied to it already in your browser. So for example, if you were to choose the shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus D, it will add your picture or the website to your favorites. After you figured out a good shortcut, click on apply and it will appear right here. And right now I'm going to click on OK and actually restart my uh, browser again. The first of the three ways that I download my pictures is um, finding a good fan site for an actor or actress or singer. In this tutorial I'm going to look for Kristen Stewart pictures. So I'm going to type in, if I can type, Kristen Stewart uh, gallery and then enter. And I'm going to choose this website here. And you will see all the categories with, with the pictures in them in this section, but I'm going to click on this folder right now just by randomly. Uh, if you find a picture that you like and that you want to download, right click on it, open it in a new tab, click on the picture, and now you can press your shortcut, which was uh, Ctrl plus Shift plus A for me. And you can see that it says that one image was saved and it should close the tab now, but it won't because there's a problem with it, but just left click on it and it will close it for you. So let's say we are going to want to download the first 12 pictures. We can do that by right click somewhere, save images, open all links in one tab, uh, click on this uh, icon right here that says check selected and look for those links that will end like top display media. And you will see that it we have got holding down shift key and then clicking here. We can click on this one again and it will select all the pictures and you will see that 90 pictures have been checked. So on this, on this page we have 90 pictures, but I'm not going to download 90 pictures because my browser would crash. So I always do that in um, steps. So always download like 20 or 30 pictures at once, not more. So I'm going to uncheck it and for this, I'm going to download five pictures. So select those five pictures and then click on OK. And this will open these pictures in one tab. And then you can click on it, press your shortcut, and it will download your picture. Close. Click on it, shortcut, close. Click on it, shortcut, close. And you don't even need to wait for it to uh, load in fully, but wait for the picture to like load in till this point so if it's still gray the whole thing don't press your shortcut just yet 
and you will see that it saved the pictures to your folder that you have selected. All right, so this was uh, the first way with the fan site. And then I'm going to show you uh, another way, which is live journal communities. And for that, just type in live journal community and then add the name of the person that you want the community to be about, like so. And I'm going to click on this one. And sometimes you need to sign up on LiveJournal and join the community to be able to view the post. But with this community, everyone can view it. I'm going to scroll down to the tags and select photos, photo shoots. And then find the post with uh, pictures in it, like this one. And most of the time, uh, people upload it to ImageBam. And you can, again, go to right-click, save images, open all links in one tab, look for the image BAM uh, links right here, check those that you want, click OK, and it will open the pictures in one tab. Scroll down right here to see if it has loaded in, because sometimes they won't start loading and you have to load them in again. And uh, in the past, if you pressed your shortcut right now, it downloaded the pictures, but again, right now, for some reason, it won't work. But I figured out an easier way, which will still save you time. So right click on the picture, click on view image or something like that in English. I'm not sure how it is. Uh, click on it and it will um, ask you to either open it or save it and click on save and then OK. And it will save again. Right click first option save. Right click, first option, save. Right click. And it's still a lot uh, faster than right clicking, uh, save images, naming it something and then pressing OK, in my opinion. And those pictures will appear in your downloads uh, folder. Mm -hmm. Another good thing about live journal communities is that sometimes people upload zip files with pictures. So for example, when there's an event or uh, a workshop, people will uh, make zip files of pictures, so like 100 pictures in a zip file. So you don't need to download all 100 pictures one by one. You can simply download a zip file that somebody has already uploaded for you. So this live journal community is called the Twilight Life and they upload zip files with all of the posts, which is so, so, so very helpful. So thank you for everyone that uploads there. And if you scroll down the post, you can find the zip file right here and it's on Mediafire. So if you click on it, it will actually already give you this window where you can click on save. And uh, after you save the zip file, you only need to extract it and then you have all the pictures and you didn't have to click on them one by one. But if you go into the post, you can see all the pictures. So if you only want a few of them, you can still open them in new tabs and then download them. And you can even go to the tab before the first picture, right click, save images and then uh, click on save images from tabs to the right and it will say that it has downloaded the free images from that tab so it can save you a lot of time as i said before and the last way that i uh, download pictures is the most basic one so using google so i'm going to type in kristen stewart and then photo shoot maybe and just to make sure that I download high quality pictures, first of all, I'm going to click on the pictures and then go to search settings or search tools, or I don't know how it is in English, go to the size and then either click on large or come down to larger than, and you can even click on 12 megapixels and then it will only give you pictures that are that high quality. And if you right click on them, open them in new tabs, click on the show the original picture tab with all of them. And then you can either uh, download them one by one in the tab by pressing your shortcut or again, go back to the tab before the first picture, right click, save images, save images from tabs to the right. And again, it will say that you have downloaded free images and they will appear in your folder. So I hope this was kind of helpful for you guys. I know it's been a long tutorial again. I can't seem to shut up or just explain things quickly. If you have any questions left, 
or something wasn't clear, then please uh, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any requests, then please tell me those too. And I'm going to see you guys soon, hopefully. Bye, guys.